Hi, I'm Steve Anthony. I'm a handyman here in New York City. Uses for blacklight. Um, let's talk a little bit about what blacklight is. Essentially what blacklight is, is, uh, is a, the most common form of it is it's a fluorescent light, much like you'd see in a ceiling fixture in your kitchen, that's uh, in, a, in a glass tube that's been treated with a, a, a dipped in a or coated in a colored glass that enables it to only show the most extreme ultraviolet end of the spectrum. Uh, now your eye doesn't necessarily see the ultraviolet spectrum so that's why it's sort of called a black light because it doesn't really provide a lot of illumination but what it does is uh, is illuminate uh, or fluoresce certain materials in other things. That's why if you go to a nightclub and they were using black light and you're wearing say a white cotton shirt you'll see it suddenly glow because there are uh, the molecules in that particular material are fluorescing under this ultraviolet light. So even though you don't see the light you see the reflection of the the light on this fluorescent type material. Uh, its uses are wide-ranging from as I just described for entertainment purposes at nightclubs um, there was a time when black light posters were very popular. Uh, they featured fluorescent paints and inks uh, in crazy designs and when you turned on a they looked fairly normal under regular light but when you turn on a black light because of the fluorescent properties of these paints and, and inks they would glow in insane ways. They're also used for detecting counterfeit money because uh, the, the paper that's used by counterfeiters doesn't have the same inherent fluorescent properties of, of uh, American money. Uh, you've seen hand stamps that, uh, that are put on in nightclubs or, or theme parks and you pass under a black light to show that you've already paid your admission. And those are just a few examples of uses for black light.